the 11 year old girl of Chrisland school was not forced into anything this is my own take on this she consented to the act a girl with so much followers on her social media handle a girl that has been exposed on internet how do you think she won't learn all those things she wasn't forced Welcome back again to my channel. My name is Doris. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, make yourself comfortable and feel relaxed. To my returning subscribers, I welcome you all too. Still on the Cruiseland saga, still about the 11-year-old girl that was caught in the act together with 13-year-old boy. I have so many receipts here with me. That's why I said what I said. She wasn't forced into anything. She gave consent to it. Yes, this is my own personal opinion. I don't know for you. All I see here is bad parenting. She was exposed way too early for her to know all the things that she got to know at this stage of life that she is now. 11 year old girl for that matter. Now wow. Okay, this I'm about to read now is what a mother of a student in the same class with the said girl at that Christland school said. Okay, she says, it took me a lot of thinking before dropping this comment. The way we just throw the word around that is forced intercourse i will not call the word because of youtube guideline okay without considering how much damage it can cause firstly as parents we need to pay close attention to our kids and what we expose them to because men it's a crazy world that we live in secondly i accompanied my son to represent his school at the just concluded wsg and I can say for a fact that the 10 year old girl in question was definitely not forced. I remember vividly the shock on my son's face when he was telling me about a video some other kids were watching. He said, Mom, I couldn't stand the video, I had to excuse myself. He said the gist circulating was that the girl and her clique played a game of truth or dare, of which this particular girl couldn't stop with the mind budging the ears. I couldn't believe my ears when I learned about the nasty activities these little kids got themselves into. To make matters worse, even when she was accosted about the video, she was owing up to it with her full chest, saying, yeah, it's me in the video and so? This is my number one receipt of saying that she wasn't forced anything, she gave consent to it. The school might take some part of the blame here, but the larger portion of the blame should go to the parents yes it's better all of us go back to old parents you know because me i don't understand what this new generation parenting is all about again when you see a kid of 10 11 12 years holding some gadgets you'll be like what are the parents of these kids inculcating in these kids the same girl she has a social media handle where she has a lot of followers or more you need to see the videos she uploaded on that said page i weep for this generation oh like i said in my earlier video in the next five to ten years coming i don't know what this generation will turn to okay from this lady she says nigerians witnessed the premier academy then the deeper life secondary school it didn't end there next was Dowen college and now chrisland so who is next amidst the confusion no one has been held responsible for negligence will our children ever be safe at school from pastor peter he says all the blame should not go to chrisland parents should be concerned about what they allow their children to watch failed parenting is the cost of most ills in our societies today hashtag chrisland from Atinuke, she says, Chrisland School said the kids played truth or dare. That means there was a dare. It's true, a 10 year old girl can't give consent. All the boys involved are also below 18 and can't give consent. So, first intercourse is questionable here. Bad parenting and poor supervision from the school is at work. From another person to here, she says, Should we say we need help, but sincerely, a parent do not know. They need to learn parenting before they start giving birth. We will only be increasing the decadence. Also from another person too, he says, and you said she was forced. See what she posts on Nike. She has been on Nike for the past three years or so. A example of bad parenting. How will you allow your child do this in your house? Okay, from Chen and So, she says, just watch the video. Number one, there was no forced intercourse. It was consensual between an 11 and 13 year old girl. 
Secondly, at Ubi Franklin, no, you shouldn't be calling this forced intercourse. Thirdly, tell your friend that he has failed in raising his child. From Oluwa, he says, country where parents don't even know the purpose of PG while watching movie or music, just to switch on television and start to listen and watch, not to care about the kind of information passing down to their kids. Parents, be mindful of what your kids is exposed to. PG is not a logo. Another point too from another person, he says, train up a child in the way he should grow and where he is old, he will not depart from it. We all have responsibilities. Raise any kids around you. Hashtag Chris Land. So like I said earlier, this thing still goes down to bad parenting. Of a truth, it happened while they were at school competition or so at Dubai. But an 11 year old girl caught in the act, or more, it is bad parenting. Even if the school would take some percentage of the blame, the parents has a larger chunk to take care. Because I don't know what the said girl is doing on a social media platform. 11 year old girl, she has a social media page with thousands of followers. Or more, huh? I don't know what to say again, oh. the parents are to be blamed. Let's call a spade a spade here, please. Although the school fucked up by not informing uh, the parents when they should inform them, see what your child is caught doing. They have to cover it up for reasons best known to them, but let's start from the root. The blame should be on the parents. So guys, you all have heard from different people, different opinions as regards to this present issue. On ground and I have also made my own point too you can also share your views via the comment section and let us know what you think and who you are to blame and if you have watched up to this very moment kindly give this video a thumbs up okay and please if you've not subscribed to this channel do me this favor and subscribe turn on the notification bell by the side of the subscribers button that whenever I drop my videos you will be the first to be alerted do remember that the voice behind this channel is Doris do take care of yourselves till I come your way next time bye bye